Hi, this is Gary Ober, and it's springtime, which means the bugs are coming out. We're talking VW bugs. No, not those bugs. Let's see if this bad boy gets started. In this episode of Gary's Garage, I'm going to take out the fuel tank on this VW Bug. So this VW Bug that I had for quite some time, like I told you before, is going to be converted into an electric car. So I drained out the all the gas, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going ahead and re uh, take out the, the gas tank. First thing I need to do is lift up the hood. Hmm. I'm going to take out that spare tire. And I'm going to take out this carpet here. Okay, so I got the spare tire out of the car. And if you look in, I got some light in here now, so you're going to want to take out on the 73 this little wire here. The battery has been removed, I believe, from the vehicle. Let me check. Nope, it's still in there. Well, I'll want to disconnect the battery just to be, be uh, careful. So Okay, now with the um, battery removed, let's see what we got here. So we got a hose here, and how this VW hose thing worked was you got this little port here, and it goes all the way around through here, and then it comes all the way around up through here, it goes down around, down out there. That's where the vapor goes goes all the way to the back where there's a canister which I put uh, put a uh, aftermarket canister in there and it, anyways it's just a mess so this is all going to be cleaned up I'm going to get a new circuit board for all this stuff there's just a lot of wires and stuff that I just don't understand 
Where it all goes, it looks like a rat's nest. It's not labeled very well. So, it's going to be a challenge. And I, I got a new box for this because this thing's just atrocious. So anyways, I'm going to start uh, taking these hoses off. Okay, I'm going to take these, all these hose clamps. Take all these hose clamps off. Okay, so I'm going to just get a quick look at the setup. Just in case somebody wonders how it's supposed to, or how this one looks like anyways. Finish removing these hoses, and then I'll get work on the, uh, removing the gas tank. Alright, something else I'm going to recommend is a uh, fan just to, to help blow you know I got the garage door open and uh, just there is some still some fuel vapors so you want to be careful you can wear a mask so I got the uh, hose sleeve off and as you can see um, I was gonna replace this and I got the hose for it, the new hose but you can see some moisture Right, right over here where my pinky is. So, the, uh, so, uh, what we got left to take off on this fuel tank is, um, this little nut here. I can take this nut off, and then I can pop this thing out, and then there's four bolts connecting the gas tank to the gas line, and we'll yank it out of here. Okay, so to remove that nut, I would just use the uh, 15 16 socket to remove this nut. And out she goes. So here's all the stuff that I've taken off the car so far. So I got that piece that came off of here. I have a brand new um, cap, brand new fill cap. Okay, so I'm going to start removing the four bolts on this gas tank here. And this is a 13 millimeter. Okay, with all four bolts removed, let's uh, sneak a peek underneath. All right, so I've uh, got some corrosion down there, um, but I gotta take out that nut down there, and then this baby's free. Well, here we go. We have the uh, fuel tank out. And uh, this is what it looks like if anybody wants it. She's all yours. Drop me a line. You can email me. G underscore O-B-E-R-1. Okay, so I just cut the line. Um, instead of trying to take that thing off because... Well, I'm not going to use it, and, uh, so anyways, it's amazing how much more access you got now. I have access to the, uh, master cylinder, which would have came in helpful earlier when I, uh, replaced the, uh, brake system to drum, to, uh, disc brakes. I hope you've enjoyed the video.